If you're looking to automate document creation for your business, you do not want to miss this video. I'm going to be going into detail about the brand new block that came out from Formstack in their new partnership with Airtable. So if that's of interest to you, stick around and let's get into it. Hey, my name is Gareth Pronovost. I'm the owner at Gap Consulting, where we help you to organize and automate your business and life. If that's of interest to you and you want to learn more about how we do that, don't miss our free Airtable crash course. I will include a link below in the description of this video and uh, you can check that out and get up to speed quickly. But without further ado, let's jump into the meat of this video. This is all about creating automated documents, automated documents from an Airtable database. So specifically, we're looking at this new partnership that has evolved between Formstack a document creation software and Airtable, and they have built an awesome block for us. So looking at my screen here, you're going to see two things. One, I have a really basic uh, database set up between contacts and donations, which I will explain. And then here on the right hand side of my screen, I have set up this block and I will go into detail about what that does and, and why it's so powerful. So first, let's talk about our data structure. I'm imagining here for this example that we run some sort of nonprofit donation uh, type of business, something similar maybe to Goodwill or Salvation Army, where we accept donations. And of course, we're going to need to give some sort of uh, receipt. Maybe that happens at the end of the day. Maybe it happens at the end of the week. But we're collecting donations. We want to store that information in our database, and we want to make sure that people get receipts. So. Before we can send these receipts, of course, we need to create these receipts. So what I'm tracking here is in one table, of course, we have contacts. It's our first name, last name, email, pretty standard stuff for contact information. We also uh, may include a company. We may have a street address, and I stress the word may, that's gonna come into play here. And then ultimately, you know, we have a, a link of this contact to donations. Over here on the donations table, we're tracking the number of the donation. So this is something that's sequential, right? It could just kind of click up. It's going to link to contacts. Uh, so the reciprocal of that relationship, right? When a contact links to a receipt or a donation, so too will a donation be connected to the contact. We're going to record the date of the donation, a short description, the amount of the donation, and uh, then we're going to capture that receipt. And you'll see here that I already have started capturing a lot of receipts. And these were, uh, should be no surprise, created uh, automatically inside of Formstack using the template that I downloaded. Before I get much more into the block though, let's take a quick look at Formstack and what that looks like on the inside. Now this is a separate software that we're gonna need for our document creation. Inside of Formstack, when you log in, by the way, I'm on a free account right now, but uh, ideally you'd be on some sort of paid plan. I only mention that I'm on a free account because the documents that I create are going to have a watermark of sample or test on them because of that. But you'd start by setting up some documents here. You can, as you see, have a number of documents. You can add a new document here. And in here, I'm going to be using the donation receipt. Now, I started with this donation receipt from a Formstack template. So they have a lot of templates available to you. You can go ahead and manage the file. And if you want to download the current file that's on a uh, record for this, you can do that here. You can upload a new file here when you're done making changes. From there, when you're set with that, then you can choose what the name of the uh, file is, how you wish it to output, whether JPEG, Microsoft Word, or PDF, and what kind of name you want it to take. As you'll see down here, this is where you would turn it on to active if you are in fact on an active plan. Of course, mine is just, as I mentioned, in test mode. Now from there, once we're, we have all of our settings all set up, we can then effectively create a document from uh, you know, zapping or pushing information uh, into it using automation. So before I get any further though, one thing to note is that inside of your document, you will need what we call merge tags. So if I were to download this document and open it up, you'll see that there is some funny looking language in here. Now there are two things that Formstack's documents do that are really, really incredible. Now the first one of those is that they've built a little bit of logic, I say a little bit, but it's actually quite a bit, of logic 
into the uh, document itself. And so most document, you know, merge softwares on the web do not allow for this layer of logic where you can say, if I have this piece of data, then I want it to fill out here. If I don't have it, then I don't want it. This is the type of problem that, uh, you know, really is made pretty terrible through a lot of merge documents in the cloud because your formatting gets really wonky when certain data doesn't come in. And in this case, you'll notice that if I were to expand or just open up this uh, Word document that I've downloaded, that I'm tracking these different fields inside of this document with a squiggly bracket and a dollar sign and then the name of the field. So I'm tracking the date, the donation number, etc. But when we get down to company, you'll notice that there's a little bit of logic or code here. Basically, what this says is if company, the field company is blank, uh, then or is, I'm sorry, if it's not blank, then we're going to output the company name here. Uh, and then we're going to end that little statement. So essentially saying if company exists, then bring the company in. If it doesn't exist, we're going to skip it. Right? Same thing for uh, address here. So the idea being that if address exists, then bring it in here. If it doesn't, then we'll skip this. If city exists, we'll bring it in here. If it doesn't, we won't. And this is really important because a lot of times when you're merging documents in the cloud, you're not going to have all of your data points. You can, in a perfect world, you would hope that you do, but you don't always have all of them. So this is the a huge selling point for Formstack and why I think it's absolutely worth giving a shot here because this logic makes for some really clean documentation. So let's shut this down then and take a look at what the block itself does. And I want to talk about the second thing that the block is makes really powerful, but unfortunately I don't have the capability to do it from my free account, but I'll definitely uh, you know pay some homage to it and let you know what it is. But essentially what we do is inside of our donations, we are able to select any record, whether we you know click the record or just select a cell within the record. And because I have set up and integrated my form stack with my Airtable, I now see a list of all the different documents that I have inside of my form stack. I can go ahead and select donation receipt. That's the document that we're working with here. And when I select it, you'll notice that I have the opportunity to upload the merged document directly to my database. I can trigger that here and I select where I want it to go here. In this case, I want it to save to this attachment file called donation receipt. I'm going to click create document and give it just a moment. And what is happening in the background is Formstack is taking that template that we have. It's bringing in the associated data from Airtable and it's pushing it into that template. And if I were to now click the document that just appeared here, when I expand this, you will see that it is now filled out with the information that's specific to this record. So this particular record was a donation for blankets in the amount of $60. The donation number was 5012. And you'll notice here that we have a name and an email address, but nothing more. There is no address for this particular person, Elsie uh, O'Gallagher. So if I were to flip out here, and we were to expand the information on Elsie, you'll notice that there is no company name, no street address, no city. And the nice thing about this, as I said before, is that when this document is merged, it doesn't have a lot of blank or dead space inside of the document because nothing was brought in and it knows not to put anything there. On the other hand, I have filled out all the information for myself. So here you'll see that I have my email here, a company, a fake address, all of these things. So if I were to create a document for myself, let's go ahead and do that. And when this comes up, of course, we're going to see that that was expanded and had all of the proper data inside. Let's get it. Go ahead and take a look here. And there are all the different data points associated with this uh, particular user. Okay. The other really cool thing, and I mentioned there were two, the second one that I really like about this block is that you can select multiple documents to be created at once. So if I were not on a free plan and I had a paid plan, I could in fact select all of the donations that we received in a day or a week and create them all at once. And when I go ahead and select this, it's going to create 15 documents in this example. 
course, as I said, I'm not on that paid plan, so you don't get to see that functionality, but it is possible to create a large number of documents all at once with just a couple of clicks. As always, I hope you found that to be super helpful. If you did and you'd like to learn more, we have a lot of resources that we've put together on our site, so swing on by and see how we can help. We have a blog that includes free content every week. We also built an Airtable free crash course that'll get you up to speed in under two weeks. And if you're looking for something more advanced, you can book some time to have a discussion with me. I will hop on a Zoom call with you and we can talk about what your needs are and how our company might be able to help. So if that's of interest, swing on by. Look forward to connecting with you soon.